Hello, I'm Georgie Barrett and this is your Week in Tech. Cambridge's real-world search engine, GeoSpark, has raised £3.5 million. Elevator pitch winner, Rotogeek, has raised £500,000 and managed to save O2 a whopping £2.5 million with their rotor management technology. London's Octopus Ventures has launched a $140 million scale-up fund. Octopus has typically been limited to early stage rounds, but will now be able to invest up to £25 million. And the latest investment report from London & Partners has revealed a slowdown in London's VC investment compared to the start of the year. But the city has now smashed the total raise in the whole of 2014. Over $1.6 billion has been raised compared to $1.3 billion last year. Nesta hosted the Making Digital Work conference this week in Birmingham to share the findings of the £7 million digital R&D fund for the arts. The three years project aim was to encourage collaboration between the arts and digital technology. 52 projects were supported by the fund, including Hidden Museum, which uses iBeacon technology to push information to visitors, Sound Lab, which explores how best to enable people with learning disabilities to create music, and Circus Star, an app designed specifically for autistic children going to the circus. In an interview with the BBC, NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden has revealed that GCHQ can take remote control of your smartphone. Known as the Smurf Suite, the tool can eavesdrop using your phone's mic, track its location and intercept all messages. The interview was broadcast in the same week as the EU ruling that companies are banned from transferring data they collect from users in the EU to service in the US. The law helps create more robust privacy protections, but will equally create problems for US tech companies like Google and Facebook. Now, in the UK, we waste 7 million tonnes of food and drink every year. Our download of the week, Olio, is here to help ease that problem. The app connects neighbours and local shops to share surplus food and cut down on waste. So, get sharing. And finally, the age of the humanoid took a step forward this week. MIT has run an IQ test on an artificial intelligence system which resulted in the IQ of a four-year-old. If the robot is anything like the four-year-old I know though, it's going to be spending quite a lot of time arguing about not putting its shoes on. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.